Let's just get into the big ones. Kylian Mbappe and Cristiano Ronaldo. As we were saying before, Craig, it seems like everybody's unhappy. Unhappy bunnies all around. Um, Mbappe, we thought that with Messi going to PSG, that would make him want to stay at PSG. But we do know that his hero is Cristiano Ronaldo, and that's apparently why he wants to go to Real Madrid. Madrid had their bid rejected. Now PSG sporting director has said that, look, we know it's he's made it clear he wants to leave, but it will be on our term so how do you see this playing out Craig eventually what happens well he wants to go to Real Madrid because Ronaldo was his hero but but Ronaldo's not at Real Madrid so I mean it's like it's it's uh yeah it's a difficult one I mean it's a weird uh setup isn't it because Neymar left Barcelona reportedly because he wanted to get out of the shadow of Lionel Messi and be the <laughs> main guy again and here we have one of the biggest egos in French football, if not world football, Kylian Mbappe, who seems to be outgrowing himself uh, in recent months uh, and has really changed, I think, from this young man who, you know, played with a grace as well as a quality and a pace uh, mm. as one of the most talented teenagers in the world to a guy who still has all those facets, but has now thrown in this giant ego as well. And, and I don't think it sits well. Uh, and clearly the arrival of Messi has not gone down well because he's been overshadowed. He doesn't like that. And he's tried to push and is trying to push for a move. But unfortunately, the people that pay his wages are very, very powerful people and also very rich people. And I think only and only when they're ready will any particular move happen. All this talk about, well, you know, they'll get money from now and they'll lose them. We were talking about this before. They'll lose them next year for nothing. Do you think the people that own PSG care about losing a few million on a free transfer? What they want is to somehow make the relationship between that front three that I mentioned something that everyone's talking about that drives them back to the French title, but more importantly, drives them to the Champions League, that holy grail where they've come close recently but not quite got over the line. That's the thinking that they, they put the structure in, in, in place behind that's good enough to let arguably the best front three that may ever have been put together to go and show their stuff. And here we have a young man who's trying to throw so many spanners in the work. And it's going to be interesting to see how this battle goes. But clearly Mbappe himself isn't at ease and it, it's going to be not dissimilar to the Tottenham and Harry Kane scenario where unhappy player and club steadfast that no move is going to happen. So th th this is a difficult one to call. But if it comes down to a, a power battle, PSG and the ownership will win. Well, speaking of other unhappy players and other unhappy big name players, Cristiano Ronaldo at Juventus ties into this um, Mbappe story because say Mbappe does leave, you're looking at Cristiano Ronaldo, who seems unhappy at Juventus. Realistically, the only two clubs that can afford him, PSG, as if they don't have enough big names already, um, or Manchester City. Which one of these, you know, do you think could get it? And could you even see Cristiano Ronaldo at this Manchester City or PSG team? Well, I, I, I don't know. I mean, his time, and I covered his time at Man United in the UK, was, was sensational. Yeah. And his relationship, his relationship with Sir Alex, uh, to this day, I believe. Uh, but his options are, are limited. And clearly, he doesn't want to be in Italy anymore because it was full of false promises. He was going to go in there and the supporting cast was going to be great and they were going to be the champions of Europe again. Well, well, that just didn't happen. The supporting cast and the signings weren't there. So, yeah, I mean, that, what a story that would be if PSG cashed in on Mbappe and, and the, the three ball was now Neymar, Ronaldo, and Messi, I mean, Messi and Ronaldo are the two best players of the last 10 years by far uh, playing together. But but I think Man City's need is more if they don't get Harry Kane uh, mm. because it's going to be difficult, I think, to go through another season with a false nine. They have Gabriel Jesus, but clearly uh, Guardiola doesn't trust him because he doesn't start him that often and yeah. doesn't even start him at times in that striking role. So, yeah, the, the, this transfer window has hotted up at the end with some big stars. Uh, but I can understand Ronaldo trying to get out of of, uh, of uh, Juventus, but it might take one or two dominoes falling before anything happens for him and, and we're running out of time. So it, it's a watch this space, but I would love to see him move away from Italy again. Uh, and uh, whether it's City or, 
or, or PSG, uh, even at 36, this man, as we know, is not going to beat people as a tricky winger anymore. But mm. he's still scoring that. He's still scoring a lot of goals, and he's still fit, and he's still going to do a job. But he's not going to be cheap. But someday, I'm, I'm sure somebody's willing to pay if if a deal can be done. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.